This video largely centers around the cleaning of uh, melted belt, debris, gunk, and so forth around the capstan pulley and the motor pulley. Uh, I'll also do the uh, idler pulley on this deck. This is a Tascam 122 Mark, I mean, I'm sorry, a 112 Mark II. Look very similar on, on other decks. The other thing I want to do here is kind of show an easy way, the easy way that I get rid of all this gunk and clean everything up. And uh, the lubricating, uh, while you're going in this far, it's a good thing, it's a good thing anyway to get motor bearings and capstan bearings lubricated while we're in this far. I won't be doing the C gear on this deck because I already detailed that one in uh, the last video or maybe the video before that. So I'll just do the idler pulley and the new belts on this one. Belt. Took out one extra screw there I didn't need to. So just remove the capstan and that's a, uh, a thrust spring. Uh, I note the direction of that. Now concentrate on the capstan pulley here. What I'll do here is just grab a, uh, a piece of wood, a stick, something like a popsicle stick or a, uh, I don't know, tongue depressor. Anything will work. And then I just sharpen a little, uh, like a chisel tip on it to help scrape off that material. Um, I don't want to use a screwdriver or anything like that that might possibly scratch that soft aluminum on the pulley. Use something that's softer than, than the aluminum. This is lovely material. This one actually is not that bad. It didn't get all over the inside of the deck like some do. Uh, it's mainly here and a little tiny bit on the bracket screw and of course the motor pulley, but it didn't get all over, so that was a good thing. Okay, so that's just removing the majority of it, get, get the bulk of it out of there. Just wipe it off. Uh, using isopropyl alcohol. A lot of different things work, but I like this. This doesn't have to be a, a messy process. You don't have to get it on your tools and on your hands and on the drapes and on the cat. Just be deliberate about it and clean it off. And it's not so bad. So while I'm here, of course, I'll clean the uh, oil and lubricant off that capstan pulley. Yeah, let's get the motor here. And that's the extent of it, just a little bit of smearing on the, on the brackets. A little bit on the screws, not bad at all. I've seen it where it gets all around the inside of the deck, and that can be a that can be a much bigger mess to get out. And um, I do get it out. It's important to clean those up and get rid of that stuff in there.
Yeah, not bad. I just happened to have a little uh, wooden dowel sitting here next to me, so I'll just carve a little flat end onto that, and that's what I'll use to scrape it off of the pulley. Again, anything softer than the material that you're scraping will be fine. I'm leaving the pulley on the motor at this point because it's actually cleaner to do it this way than taking it off, I think, anyway. Just comes right off. It's going to make a little corner out of the paper towel and try to get that in there as best I can. Can't quite get into that front corner there. I'll maybe grab a little. Uh, pointed uh, wipe or a q-tip whatever they call these things all right happy with that didn't make too big of a mess Hands are clean, tools are clean. Could have done this in a suit and tie and it would have been just as good. All right, so I want to get a little drop of oil in that front bearing. Once I got the pulley off, I'll just finish getting all that let's see did I get that clocked right nope I don't think I did there it goes as with everything here I, I put the screws in loose uh, make sure it's positioned correctly and then go back and torque them. This is just cleaning the grease off of the thrust. Uh, this is the thrust bearing for the capstan. And I'm cleaning the grease out of that and installing new grease, and applying new grease. I use Crytox for that. A bit there and a little bit there. Now on these centered bronze bearings here, I just want to uh, clean a little bit, see if it needs cleaning, see what kind of condition it's in, and then relubricate that. And this is important. These these decks have a few years on them, and and they they need lubricant in those bearings. What I'll do is I'll just take a toothpick with a little tiny drop of uh, isopropyl and just run it in there and see if I've got any glaze or any kind of debris in it. I don't. It's perfectly clean. So I'm happy just to lubricate this. This particular deck doesn't look like it has very much wear on it. This is the... Uh, Capstan oil I buy from Peter over at Nagravox. Don't remember exactly the number on it. He has several different ones there. Try 
to position that for the camera. And then just put the rest of it on that shaft. These are the replacement belts. These are uh, still available from the factory. Um, that's the part number for this deck. Actually, I think I buy those from Full Compass, if I remember right. I want to do this with the deck sitting vertically, not horizontally, because uh, that belt, if it's just laid down while the deck's in its horizontal position, it will fall down into the grease, and you don't want any of that. Belts, pulleys should be completely dry, degreased, and uh, dust-free for the best performance. I'll just lay it in there like that and then kind of hook the motor pulley around the bottom there. Very simple. There it is. Of course, I'm paying attention to uh, cameras and lights and focusing and keeping things in frame. And I forgot to put that thrust spring back in. And of course, I notice it now, but that's also the advantage of putting things in a parts tray instead of uh, just kind of randomly throwing them around your workbench. Because at some point, you will discover that you forgot a part. So that's okay. I just get to show how to do it again, maybe from a, a better angle. So again, just going to be deliberate about taking that off so I don't get it caught in any grease traps in there. There it is. Very simple job. I'll 
put all these screws in loose and then wiggle things around, rotate uh, the capstan, let the bracketry find its happy spot, and then I'll go back and torque everything down. And that is a good procedure on pretty much everything. Not too many places where it's appropriate to put one screw in, tighten it down, put the next screw in, tighten it down. It, it actually should be done this way. Okay, let's remove that real motor and service the uh, idler pulley tire. Just need to get access to the two screws there holding that cover plate. Oh, nice. That's uh, torqued down well. Doesn't need to come all the way out. Just needs to be uh, held off a little bit to get access to those two CAD plated screws right there. Motor falls out. Yeah, I see some cracks in this. Probably will come off just like that. Now this uh, drive pulley bracket here, I'm not going to remove that or even try to because um, they're really hard to get off. Every time I've tried, I've gone as far as I'm willing to go and I've not successfully gotten one off yet. And they're not available. I tried uh, both with TIAC parts and just searching for them and so I'm not quite prepared to start to manufacture those and I don't see anybody else manufacturing them either. So right now I'm not removing those. There will be a day when they'll start to crack and break and we'll have to deal with it then but for now I just leave them on. Uh, that one gear is actually available still but the bracket's not. So there's a little plastic uh, uh, jump spring here, retaining spring, and they're just like little jumping beans, they go all over. Just quickly clean these and relube them. And what I see here on the inside of this one is grease from the factory, from the assembly. And that felt washer is contaminated with some of that grease because they put the grease on the shaft and then pushed the gear down and it spread out, squirted out when it hit bottom uh, out into the felt washer and that felt washer should be running dry. So we'll clean that off of there. And fortunately it's very, very little just on the inside. Okay. 
And then what I'll do is I'll put grease just on the inside of the hub, not on the shaft. Obviously, it doesn't take very much. And then when that gets pushed down onto the shaft, the excess grease will come out the top. Just like that. Let's uh, get our new idler pulley put on, or idler tire, I mean, on the pulley. Looks like I'm just about out of these, need to reorder. And just a little whisper of lubricant on the inside of that as well. Find our little jumping bean, press that back on there, and that motor will be ready to reinstall. Again, put them in there loose, and then torque them, torque them when they're set. And put the cover back in the right direction. And that is really about all there is to that. It doesn't require any more struggle than, uh, than what I just did here. So I hope this might have helped somebody out. And I appreciate you watching. Tune in for more.